Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a beauty video, hence the bare face. And I was actually sitting here to do my makeup yesterday and I realized that I've been using the same products for a really long time. So I've been seeing a few videos around the internet of Instagram chooses my makeup or my subscribers choose my makeup. And I decided to post on Instagram asking you guys to choose my makeup for the day. So I posted a series of stories giving you two choices of every single makeup product that is going on my face today. And you guys have chosen your favorites. I haven't looked at the results yet. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm doing my makeup, but I haven't chosen it. You guys have chosen it for me. Let's hope it will all turn out okay. I actually did only choose products that I love in any case, but there are some products that I haven't used in a really long time because I've just been gravitating towards the ones that I've been loving the most recently. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I hope you guys like this video. If you're not subscribed already, please do hit the subscribe button. I'll leave some related videos to this one in the description box below if you wanna watch a few more videos after you watch this one. And let's get started. I haven't put anything on my face, so we'll start straight with moisturizer. And I gave you guys a choice between the Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Moisturizer or the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion, which I haven't used for a really long time. Let's see which one you guys chose. So it was 62% for Clinique and 38% for Olay. It's come out a bit gunky because I haven't used it in such a long time. So I'm just gonna get rid of this bit and get a new pump. Um, I think the reason why I stopped using this moisturizer is because it was a little bit too rich for day-to-day -day use. It is a nice moisturizer, but it takes a little bit of time to get absorbed by the skin. I've got dry skin in any case, so that's not a problem. But if you do have oily skin, this might not be the best moisturizer before makeup, but you guys chose it, so I've got to go with it. So whilst the moisturizer is setting, I'm gonna move on to primer and I gave you guys a choice between the YSL primer and the Benefit Pore Fashional. YSL is a beautiful kind of gold flex primer and the Benefit is an old favorite of mine. I've used them both for a really long time and I like them both. So whichever one you guys choose, I'll be fine. The only thing is that the Benefit primer, I can only use on certain areas of my face because it is quite quite thick and difficult to blend. So let's see what you guys chose. For primer, we have 56% for Benefit and 44% for YSL. So we are going for Benefit. This is a brand new teeny tiny sample of the Professional. I think I've used about three or four tubes of this. I used to be absolutely obsessed with it. And like I said, the only problem is that I can't apply this all over my face. So I only just kind of concentrate around my nose and my cheeks which is where I've got pores. It is quite nice though, I really miss using it. I'm probably gonna put this back in my makeup bag now. Next, we're going for foundation. I gave you guys the choice between the Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation, which I've been using every single day since I got it a couple of months ago or three months ago, and the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation, which I haven't used for a really long time, but I absolutely love it. The only thing is I think this one is not quite my skin color. It's a little bit light for me. So we'll have to see, maybe darken it with bronzer. So yeah, let's see which one you guys chose. So we've got 58% for Bobbi Brown and 42% for the Body Shop. So we're going for Bobbi Brown. I'm a little bit apprehensive. I haven't used this foundation in quite a while. This one has SPF. 40 in it, which is absolutely amazing for the summer. It's got a little dropper applicator, which is quite nice so you don't waste too much product. And I'm gonna start with just a little bit of product, just little drops all over my face, like that. And because this is quite thick and creamy, you really don't need much at all. I'm gonna use my um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge. So yeah, this foundation is so easy to blend. It is very, very light for my skin at the moment. I've got a bit of a tan, but because I'm not applying much, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. But I, can, I can still see that it's lighter than my skin tone. It's such a nice creamy foundation. And uh, I was using this when 
probably two years ago I was using this one kind of every single day and loving it. It dries so quickly and it feels really velvety on the skin. It's not a matte finish. It does definitely have that luminosity to the skin as you can see. I'm glad you chose this one because it's one that I'm gonna be reaching for a little bit more this summer. I completely forgot how much I liked it. So for concealer, I gave you guys the choice of the Clarins Instant Concealer, which has been my everyday favorite, and the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hours Breathable Concealer. I got this probably at the same time as I got Got this one and because I've loved this one so much I haven't used this one as much but let's see what you guys chose for me ah 50 50 exactly 50 50 so we have the same number of votes for both of them which is really interesting so I think I might use the Rimmel one because like I said I've, be I've been using this one a lot and I just want to try something different so let's try the Rimmel concealer um, the person who recommended this concealer to me was my friend Lucy Jessica Carter. Oh, I've got shade 100 Fair and I didn't mention the shade that I have on the Bobbi Brown foundation. It is shade number three, beige. So I'm gonna apply straight with a little brush and blend with the brush as well. Might have to use the Beauty Blender to kind of disperse it down my face and make it a little bit more seamless because it is quite a small brush, it's more targeted. So I'll use like the tip of the Beauty Blender. I don't think it's called the Beauty Blender, is it? It's called the Miracle Complexion Sponge um, by Real Techniques. Ah, oh, look at that difference. I just, I can't live without concealer. It's just the secret weapon for mums, isn't it? It's so, so easy to blend and it hides all my dark circles. Now concealer done, let's move on to bronzer. And this time I picked two bronzers that I haven't used in a long time. The Bourjois uh, Bronzing Powder and Highlighter Duo and the Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette. And let's see what you guys chose. So we have 58% for Sleek and 42% for Bourjois. Let me just show you. This is the Bourjois bronzer. It's got the highlighting side and the bronzing side. And this is like one of their chocolate bronzers. So it smells delicious, but that's not the one I'm using today. Um, today I'm using the Sleek one as chosen by you guys, which looks like this. Really gorgeous bronzing palette. It's got a warmer shade here, a cooler shade, and then a highlighting shade in the middle. I'll go for this one. I think this is actually brand new. I haven't used this at all. This is the first time I'm using this palette. So let me see what the color payoff is. So I'm using a Real Techniques um, blush brush and I always like to kind of pinch it with my fingers like that. So let's see how that goes. That's a really nice color. Quite intense, so gotta be careful not to put too much product. I can tell that I'm gonna be using this a lot more now I don't know why I hadn't used it so far. That's really nice. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's so pretty. Right, this is really pigmented. That would be my advice. Be very careful with the amount of product that you put on because it's so, so pigmented. So for highlighter, I gave you the choice between Mary Luminizer by The Balm, which is incredible. It's so beautiful. I've used it so much and a Primark um, Highlighting Drops Instant Radiance, which I haven't used properly. Um, and yeah, this one costs £2.50. The shade of this one is called Paradise, and this is fairly new. I think you, you can still find this one in Primark. Let me see which one you guys chose. So we've got 53% for the Balm and 47% for the Primark one. I was kind of hoping that you guys chose the Primark one just so I can see what it looks like and show you more because I know this one inside out. I've used so much of it, but I've got to go with what you guys chose. So let's go with the Balm. Um, this is the most finely milled highlighter. It's so beautiful. It looks really gorgeous on the skin. So I'm just going to put some on the bridge of my nose. Kind of go with my fingers as well because I find that I get a lot more pigmentation with my fingers and then on my forehead look how gorgeous this is I think I've gone a little bit overboard with the highlighter on my cheekbones so so beautiful 
I need to put this back in my makeup bag because I haven't used it in a while. I feel like a golden goddess at the moment because I've got all like the bronzy and shimmery look. I think I might have to tone down the glow just a teeny tiny bit because I went a little bit overboard on the glow. I think that's a bit better. <laughs> right, so for blush, I gave you guys the choice between the Benefit, California, which is the most beautiful, shimmery, corally, orange blush, or the Lancome Blush Subtil. Subtil. Um, and this is in the shade, what's this shade here? It's rubbed off, but I'll try and find it and link it for you. But this is the most like gorgeous rose like burnt rose colour. I've been using this every single day. A lot of you have been asking me what blush I'm wearing in most of my Instagram photos and it's always been this one. But let's see what you guys chose for me. So we have 70% for Benefit and 30% for Lancome. So we're going for the Benefit one. I'm a little bit apprehensive because I know coral blushes are not the best colour for me. I'm so used to the Lancome blush because it's so pigmented, I've got to pick such little product and this one doesn't seem to be as pigmented so yeah, let's just try a bit more. I don't know, I'm not convinced I like this one but it's what you chose so I've got to go with it. Hmm, it's just not pigmented. I don't know, can you see anything on my skin? Just struggling to see any kind of pigmentation. Now it's time for some eyebrows and I chose for you guys the Wonder Brow Brow Gel, which I have loved for such a long time, and the Urban Decay Brow Beater, which is something that I don't use at all. I was secretly hoping that you guys chose the Wonder Brow because I just really wanna try it again. I haven't used it for a while. But let's see what the choices are. Right, so we've got 61% for the Urban Decay and 39% for the Wonder Brow. I really wanted to use the Wonder Brow, but I'll have to use this one, which I already know I don't like so much because this is a pen, a pencil for your brows and I don't usually like eyebrow pencils, but we'll have to cope. It's a really fine pencil, as you can see there. The point is really fine and a lot of people love this but I just find that the pencil is so weak that it breaks when I'm trying to fill in my eyebrows. But let's do it. It's definitely not as difficult as I remembered. Maybe I was having a bad day when I used it last. It's good to give products that you didn't like at first a chance just in case you like them again another time. So that wasn't too bad, was it? I think it looks quite nice. I was a bit too harsh with it before and it's actually turned out quite all right. Right, so I totally take it back what I said before. I'm quite impressed with this. I don't think I gave it a fair go the last time I used it. It's filled my eyebrows so nicely. It wasn't as hard, half as hard as I thought it was going to be. And yeah, really happy with it actually. It's going straight in my makeup bag and not in my cupboard. So next for eyes, we've got the Lorac Pro Palette and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Both are great, I love them both. So whichever one you guys chose, I'll be happy. This is what the Lorac Palette looks like. It's very neutral very very beautiful and then the Too Faced chocolate bar is gorgeous looks like a chocolate bar and inside the shades are really really pretty i've been using this one quite a lot recently as well and let's see what you guys chose 72 percent for Too Faced and 28 percent for Lorac so we're going for Too Faced i'm kind of happy because this is the one that i've been using the most so i can just go for the look that i've been going for recently so i'm going to use the gold eyeshadow here with my finger and put all over my lid and then with my blending brush i'm going to use this darker kind of warm brown shade here in the middle and just go on the oops <laughs> the outer edge of my eye just to give it a little bit of depth and definition Right, so that's all I've been doing with my eyes recently, just these two eyeshadows. And then I'm gonna use the same brown shade and line my bottom lash line. I haven't been using eyeliner like on my waterline 
for a while and I've been kind of enjoying the look without like the harshness of the eyeliner. And then on my top lash line I'm gonna use this eyeshadow here at the top which is like a dark kind of greyish brown colour and I'm just gonna line my top lash line. It makes a big difference doesn't it lining your top lash line even if you're not doing like proper liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner just a little bit of eyeshadow makes my eyelashes look much thicker as well. Right and now with my finger I'm gonna use this eyeshadow here at the bottom and I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. It's just like a pink champagne colour. So that's it for the eyes. Now for mascara I gave you guys the choice between the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara which I've used so much recently and the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara which I haven't used at all. So I'm kind of hoping you guys choose this one because the reason why I haven't used this is because I don't like it. We've got 61% for Benefit. Thank you very, very much. I know I like this one and it's just so voluminous and thickening and dramatic. It's my favorite mascara ever alongside the Benefit Their Real Mascara. They're both my favorites. I think it's definitely the brush that makes me like this mascara so much because the bristles are so close together, it helps to, um, to keep your lashes together, it doesn't separate them too much, which I feel sometimes doesn't give me as much volume as when my eyelashes are closer together. Right, so that's mascara done, and now I'm just gonna clean up under my eyes with a concealer again, because I always do that step. I'm just gonna use the same Rimmel concealer, and it's really brightening as well, which is great. So before lipstick, I'm just gonna touch up my blush because I really don't feel like I can see much of it. And let's go for the last thing, which is lipstick. And I gave you guys a choice between a Chanel lipstick and a Soap and Glory lipstick. The Chanel one is pink, kind of rose lipstick, which is usually what I go for. And the Soap and Glory lipstick is a nude lipstick, and this is kind of my favorite nude color. Um, this one is called Super Nude and the Chanel one is called uh, Charm number 40. So let's see what you guys chose. So 70% for Chanel and 30% for Soap and Glory. So we're going for Chanel, which I don't mind. I love it. And I think it kind of goes with this look in any case. Such a beautiful shimmery pink shade. So here we are, we have the makeup look as chosen by you guys. Let me know what you think. I'm quite pleased with it and I'm really happy that you forced me to go for the Benefit Brow Beta. I wouldn't have chosen to use this and I think my brows look so nice. I'm definitely using this again and yeah, really happy with that. Overall, you guys chose the things that I would have chosen in any case apart from a couple of things and I think it all works together. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you like this look and if you'd like to choose any more things for me to do, then leave it on the comments below what you think you should choose for me next. I'm thinking maybe like you guys choosing my ASOS haul or Shein haul. I've been browsing Shein quite a lot recently and they have some really nice things there. If you're not already subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. I do videos three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm a mum of two kids. I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. So I do lots of videos about parenting, motherhood. I have a series on my Monday called Mindful Motherhood, where we talk about parenting issues and things and feelings. And so if you could join me for that, I would be very, very happy. And Wednesdays and Fridays, I do videos about everything, including beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and everything else in between. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.